Black is black. It is bang on. I hope I ask 10, 23 degrees downtown. Two more to go and I win this morning. Barbara says 26 degrees. I don't think it's going to get there. It is Tuesday, November 29th. And uh, let me do this. Galaxy, Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. So very, very happy to have everybody on board. And uh, if you're first time uh, joining us on uh, Facebook Live, well, I tell you what, why not do this? Sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Uh, bell notifications when we have important people, much like today's feature artist that we had on the breakfast show. Yes, we're talking about Junkyard Heights. And I want to give a shout out too to uh, Big Records and uh, also Rise Up TV, Sony Music, The Orchard, you know the guys. In fact, we're so very, very happy to be in association with them. I'll do that very shortly, but don't forget, give us the thumbs up. Yep, get epileptic with the thumb and subscribe. Become part of the noise. That's the family here at Galaxy, and believe me, it is growing exponentially. Now I mentioned Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here with Galaxy. Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music The Orchard. Now, believe me, these guys, uh, we've done an interview with them a couple of times now and we absolutely love these guys. Uh, Got to give a shout out to Big Records, yeah, all the crew there, including Lisa, Pamela, Tim... Bo, uh, Don, and of course, uh, let's not forget Mark as well. We love Mark. We really, really do. In the meantime, their most requested song, would you believe, is Beans and Whiskey, here at Galaxy. <laughs> God, that sounds toppy. <laughs> How are you going? We're ready to do this. Ah, dear, dear, dear. dear. Hey, Franco. Yeah. Hey. Everybody talk. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it when somebody else stops and waits for somebody else to say something. <laughs> I just barge on in there. I'm sorry, guys. I really do. Yeah, thank you. So, Grant, what's your opinion? Should we? Uh, we're, we're talking about what our second song to drop should be. After Rusty Truck, I think maybe Beans and Whiskey be a good one, or what do you think? Well, honestly, people love Beans and Whiskey. They haunt us for it. I mean, you're cool, but by God, it's the most requested track that you guys are getting right now. Okay. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, um, if that makes an influence, I don't know. Um, but, you know, personally as well, it's my favorite one. <laughs> I love it, yeah. It's my, well, of all of, them, we, of our songs. Yeah. Yeah, and it's fun to play live, too. I bet. Yeah, sure. I bet. In, in fact, I would love to see it live. I really, really would. Um, <clears throat> hey, technology has come my way. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Sean Simpson is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Sean. And Franco, hello, brother man. Nice to have you with us. It really is. And uh, Sean says, hey, you guys. <laughs> hey, you back. Hey. All right. <clears throat> that was Kevin that said that. That, that was Kevin that said that. Yeah. I see. It's Kevin. <laughs> Joe. Craig. Craig. And Brian. And that's Grant. And a coffee. Oh, that's Grant. <laughs> yeah. Dear, dear, dear. What's the temperature over there? Dismal. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 40 sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it might have 40. I don't know. It might have dropped off. Yeah, mid 30s. Might have to turn it up a bit. It's grey and misty, rainy. Oh, oh right. good. All the good stuff. We're 62. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Apparently, yeah, we're 62 outside. Well, geez. It's moving out of your summer, you know. Yeah, yeah. It was, believe me, 
add another 10, 15 degrees for being in here with all the computers and whew, she gets hot. Yeah, we're, we're heading into falling on your ass on the ice. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and so very, very happy to have you joining us uh, and believe me, we are very, very honoured to be joined today coming out of New York by Junkyard Heights, also coming out of the big record stables, absolutely fantastic, we love, love that move, we really do, welcome back guys. Thanks, thank hey. you, good to be back. Now, let, let's sound off there, Brian at the uh, bottom there, and of course Kevin, we got Joe on top, and Craig over to one side. And, and believe me guys, we absolutely love, love, love your work here at Galaxy. Uh, to answer your question about uh, the next thing, I think beans and whiskey would be the way to go, but I don't want to be the influence, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just getting yeah. yeah, well then, you know, oh, when people come yeah. up... People will come up and just absolutely bitch and moan, and you can go, well, it's Grant's fault. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Good okay. Yep, uh, so uh, I'm right there with you, especially you, Craig. I really think it's a great track. Uh, I really, really do. Uh, I'd love to be able to see you guys performing it live. We would love to come out there and do it. Yeah, absolutely. I got a. That's a great idea, Kevin. I, I really like that idea. Uh, moreover, uh, are you planning on doing a live video, maybe something from a crowd, something like that, when you perform it on stage? Uh, we, actually have, we have that one live. Yeah, yeah. It's on. Uh, it's on our website, which is uh, junkyardheightsband.com, but it's also out there on YouTube, I believe, and, and it's on our YouTube. Page, right? Yeah. 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 That was at a Speedy Fest just a few months ago. You yeah, see, that was my way of getting you to be able to give me your website, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I, I do that to people from time to time. But having said that, Talia coming out of Mendy in Papua New Guinea is asking, how do we get hold of you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? Are you a talker? But more importantly, guys, do you respond? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yep. All of the above. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All those pages. Yeah. We do it all. Nice. Well, Talia, they said they would respond. You go right ahead and keep them busy now. You do that. <laughs> Literally. Uh, give them no time to be able to do anything else. They'll be there talking to you all day. Believe me. Uh, having said that, Beans and Whiskey, let's go back to that because we opened the show with that. Tell me a little bit about this track because it is such a fascinating track. Well, um, I, I came up with the idea. I was just messing around with my... I have a cigar box guitar, which is a three-string guitar. Uh, and I was just messing around, actually sitting pretty much where I am now. And I, I came up with this... You know, kind of a cool bluesy, almost like a Delta kind of sound. And I sent it, I believe, to Craig first, and he really liked it. And he, of course, does what he does. He takes the ball and runs with it. And then we just kind of pass it around. And, you know, Kevin gets involved, and that's when the recording starts. So it's kind of how it came together. Well, i, I got to be honest with you, Brian. Uh, it is your most requested track here at Galaxy. Literally, people absolutely, I don't know what it is. Maybe they just seem to be able to respond to that particular track. Maybe it's the lyrics, maybe it's the music, maybe it's all of the above. Uh, personally, for me, I think it's the quality of the whole entrelada. I really do. I love every part of it. <laughs> Having said that, uh, I, this is fast growing on me, and I'm finding that I'm not being able to get through a breakfast show without playing it and huh? there's a little bit of kiwi something something about this particular track 
rusty truck. Tell me all about this. Well, Can I take that one, Craig? Sure, yeah. I mean, I think we we sort of told this story before, um, you know, but it's uh, rusty truck was was born on my back deck, sitting in front of a, a fire pit uh, with a few adult beverages and. <laughs> Yeah, uh, boys had their guitars, and we just sort of came up with this riff. And um, you know, unlike beans and whiskey, now be beans and whiskey, beans actually stands for money. So money and whiskey don't go. You don't have any beans in your pocket if you've got whiskey. A rusty truck is one of those scenarios where we've all been either driving next to that guy or we've been that guy with that beat up truck. Nobody wants to. Uh, Nobody wants to get near you or cut you off. They kind of let you have all your space. So that was that's the storyline behind that. But yeah, that one was written in just a short amount of time in front of a fire, uh, enjoying some beverages. Well, well, Craig, believe me, that that's a good, healthy male thing to do. It really, really is. And of course, you know, when you got beverages and you got a fire at night time, of course the guitars come out. You get creative. I get that. The juices flow. But at the same time, I'm loving the truck. I really am loving this truck. I really am. Uh, but there's something special about the truck in its own right, isn't there? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We like to think so. We hope so. Thanks so much. Now, uh, yeah. it's got a little logo on the, uh, on the doors there. Something a little Kiwiana. How did that come about? You're right. Okay, so I see where you're. I see where you're trying to lead me in here. Um, <laughs> yes. So, so I don't even know how you potentially heard about this, but anyway, we uh, drew some various connections that we had with one of the original pictures that we took, uh, one of our original promo pictures with another truck. I called the same guy to um, a guy named Joe Joseph Lockwood to. Uh, Say, hey, do you have that truck available? We're, we'd like to do a video. He said, no, I, I don't have that anymore. But he said, I just finished a truck for a guy. And um, let me see if he'd be interested. So long story short, he got a hold of a guy named George Stevens. And he has a 42 Ford that, uh, he had, like I say, that Joe had just finished rebuilding for him. Got a hold of him. He was more than cooperative. He said, yeah, I'd love to see it in a video. So not only did we uh, take some pictures next to it, but we made it an entire music video, which was just released a few weeks ago um, around this truck. Now, George's son actually lives in New Zealand. And um, that logo on the side there is um, a brewery in that area that they live. So... Anyway, it was just kind of crazy that we we had already done some interviews with you, and of course there's some potential uh, of us going over there through Big Records to do some shows, do some touring over there. And when he mentioned that his son lived in New Zealand, I said, "Wow, that's crazy!" And I told him our little story, and he said, "Oh my God!" So yeah, there's sort of a New Zealand connection with us already, with you guys and with the truck and the whole nine yards. I hope it comes to fruition. Well, I tell you what, you're going to have to get these guys in Wellington, uh, where the uh, brewery is. And believe me, we love Wellington. It's the capital. And uh, Jacinda is the Prime Minister, all of that sort of stuff. You're going to have to get them and get in touch with us. We'd love to be able to promote them as well, if you know what I mean. So uh, have a chat, and uh, we'd love to talk to them. We really would. Uh, George Proffitt's joining us. Nice to have you on board, George. And Dave Flavel. Hello, Dave. Nice to have you back. Now, guys, believe me, uh, i got to let you know, too, uh, about 27 years of age, which is hard to do when I say I'm 21, uh, literally, I had a, an absolute identical truck. Same colour, same make, same everything, even sounded the same. And believe me, this takes me back in the day. Here wow. is Junkyard Heights and brand new Rusty Truck. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I had one. Uh -huh. Awesome. Oh, yeah, quite a truck. When, when, I, really, when I got it, it was, literally, it was, it was um, 
my one, I found it in the back end of a farmer's barn. All, all covered in um, uh, chicken shit and <laughs> all sorts of <laughs> really wonderful things. But the thing was, I said to the farmer, what do you want to do with that? He goes, oh, I'm just going to tow it off to the dump. And I said, will it work? And he goes, well, you need it as a battery. And I went, you're joking. All right, so we pulled it out with wow. the tractor, literally pulled it out with the tractor, threw a battery in it, it fired straight away. Uh, wow. wow. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. This truck we used actually had zero rust on it. That was all patina. And it was really nice. Like, what, what engine did he have in it, Craig? You remember what he, he said? Had he had a 351 Cleveland, and it was on the chassis. The 42 body was on the chassis of a 72 Ford F-150. Um, so, yeah, the whole thing has been rebuilt. You know, it's a new new rebuilt motor or chassis, the whole deal. It's, it's you know, it's, it's a one-off. So it's pretty awesome. awesome. Amazing. Amazing. That really does take me back in the day. You know, I, I, I love, love the truck. I really do. But I love the song too. So guys, believe me, I've actually got you playing in my car. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. I, I think it's music to drive fast too. <laughs> we're, not, we're not paying your speeding tickets, so... Oh, well, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, maybe Joe might send me a packet of two, you know, big bags of blue pills or something. And you this nice blue shirt. No, I don't, I don't swallow blue shirts. <laughs> a friend of mine had to take a dog to the vets the other day because it swallowed a bloody sock of all things. My daughter's oh, dog. Yeah. <laughs> dog did that. Yuck. Yeah, we my dogs are safe. They know what my socks taste like. They won't touch them ever again. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Believe me, they learnt that as puppies. Don't eat dead socks, they taste horrible. <laughs> Weak old. I think I'm the only one that doesn't have a dog. You got a dog, don't you, Joe? Yes, I do. Man, see? Yep. I'm on a call. Oh, you a kitty cat. <laughs> well, we have two. We have enough. We have one for you, Kevin. We've got an action. Okay, tell me two. All right, cool. Hey, Kevin, Kevin, it's really hard to walk the golf for show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, every time I walk the iguana, he runs away on me, so. Uh, yeah, and believe me, you don't want to grab that by the tail. <laughs> no. Oh, you don't. You really don't. Gears tuned in. Gears tuned in. Hello, Mr. Miranda. How are you? <laughs> nice to have you on board. It really is. Um, is um, you're coming back to Norway soon, I've heard. Yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah. Anyway, let's wrap this up, guys. Um, by the way, we're going to turn you all into, um, well, that's a hell of a big <laughs> hand. <laughs> it proves he's married. He's got a wedding ring on. <laughs> uh, we're going to turn you all into cartoons, so hang in there, my friend. <laughs> asking, coming from Tornillo in Finland, are you uh, looking literally at releasing anything new in the near future? Uh, is there a way of being able to get hold of your album in any way? Well, this is something we've battled with a little bit. Um, 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 on which song to release next? Just do singles, or should we read and uh, we're going back and forth. Who knows? Maybe Beans be the next release. But other songs out there on that rusty truck. So you can go out there and listen to. Uh, I think there's three other songs on Spotify, iTunes out there. 
Yeah, it's actually four now. Yeah. And there's going to be another one. Uh, we, we are, we're probably going to be dropping a few singles and then actually putting out an album. We've got enough original material to probably put out a double album. So, yeah. At least. Yeah. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Well, the uh, hardest part is picking out the songs that we want to put on there. That's the toughest part. Yeah, I get that, Kevin. I really do. But it, it is wise and very prudent because, believe me, a lot of the artists that we deal with uh, like to drop singles accumulating to an album and then we build up to the big release of the album. You know what I mean? So I, I think it's wise of what you're doing. Really, really do. And, and believe me, I, I would be very, very interested in all the new stuff that's coming out of Junkyard Heights. Now, that just means, maybe, just maybe, just maybe, that uh, you'll release new stuff with this and come on back again. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be <laughs> Love that idea. Uh, at the same time, we'd love to be able to meet up with you guys. I hope you guys get on board with the Big Records Tour down here to the Antipodes, because believe me, uh, it's going to be, well, in a, in a word, a banger. It's just gonna go off. It really is. And we've got some good company for you guys when you get here as well. Uh, but you may have to deviate a little bit on the way here because uh, we're going to be picking up a artist from Big Records, of course, coming out of Papua New Guinea. In fact, out of Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea, that's going to be climbing on board the plane and coming on over as well. You know what I mean? So, uh, and I have an idea that that's where we're going to initially meet because uh, Barbara and I are going to be over there as well uh, talking to the government. We've got a, a thing going on over there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in fact, uh, I don't know, should we, should we let it out of the bag? What do you reckon, no, Barbara? What do you reckon? Not confirmed yet. You think we should? Okay. Um, no. Not yeah, why not? i tell you what. Have a listen to this guy, see what you think. Galaxy. And now, coming soon to Papua New Guinea on 97 FM. Yeah, we, nice. we're looking at uh, building a brand spanking new galaxy uh, over in Port Moresby, literally, and with the help of the government over there, so believe me. There is huge opportunities opening up over there for yeah. artists, literally. And uh, it gives us now another market that we can target. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, believe me, uh, there's going to be more than just one radio station and a lot more happening, including getting artists from around the world performing over there and you know, getting their artists around the world as well. So uh, it's going to be a, an import-export kind of deal that we're going to be doing with their government and uh, looking forward to working closely with them and with Baseline over in Port Moresby as well. Guys, uh, I'm going to have to wrap it up here right now, but please don't go anywhere just yet because we're going to do the crazy photo thing. You know what it's about. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to say hi to Tone Elizabeth. Hello, sweetheart. Nice to have you joining us all the way from Norway. Uh, Kirsty Jackson is watching, and Lisa Saunders, of course, from Big Records and uh, Rise Up TV, joining us as well. In the meantime, let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Records, Sony Music, The Orchard, here with Galaxy. Another in the artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV.